What's up guys my name is Avi welcome to your penny matters so apple and tesla just announced stock splits and their stock price so before we get into that we need to understand what is a stock split and why it is such a big deal so let's say company x has shares valued at $1000 per share and they have 1000 shares that is 1000 x 1000 1 million dollars is the company's valuation now company x says let's do a stock split of five for one then they will have 5000 shares priced at $200 per share the value of the company doesn't change and it still remains at $1 million well if you look at the math it doesn't really make sense why would a company do a stock split because it doesn't really make a difference but there are a few reasons why companies do this and it's mostly positive for both the company and its shareholders or potential shareholders number 1 accessibility for a company like let's say for example Tesla whose stock price is at the mo moment of recording this video is over $1600 per share it is not really accessible for an average joe and when i mean accessible an average joe might be investing let's say $500 a month in stocks and it would be very difficult for him to buy a share of Tesla because the price is so high but a stock split allows him to buy a share as it brings down the price of each stock sort of like a discounted sale without affecting the potential value of the entire company number 2 liquidity now if more average joes can purchase stocks like tesla and apple that means more people are buying and selling aka more trading is happening that means more liquidity of the stock and it's also usually drives up the prices of each individual stock meaning the value of the company also increases usually but it's sort of a sneaky way to increase the value of the company but it it works So let's have a look at the stocks that we've talked about so Apple and Tesla. So in case of Apple the stock price is at the moment is $459.63 per share. Now this would essentially split into um numerous stocks on the 31st of August. So the, the effective date for the stock split happens on the 31st of August for both Apple and Tesla. Now, can you look at this graph and tell me when for example the stock split was announced? It's quite obvious, right? It's right here. On the 31st of July, um it was announced that Apple stock would split and the stock price has just soared from $384.76 it went up to $459.63 at the moment the same way can you guess when uh, tesla stock was announced that you know they would be doing a stock split it was right about here on the 11th of august so at that time it was $1374.39 and after an announcing it just went poop 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 right now to $1650.71. So a st stock split is essentially it boosts sort of like the value of the company um without actually changing the essential value of the company. So a stock split shouldn't actually change the value of the company as I mentioned. But in this case it drives sort of like an interest in the stock because hey it becomes more affordable right like if you cannot afford $1650.71 um doing a you know 5 for 1 stock split makes it go down so it essentially makes it more affordable per stock for an average joe it's similar in the case of apple as well so $459.63 would go down so you can essentially purchase a share of apple without having to pay this amount of money so it's useful in the long run for people as well plus as i mentioned it helps in liquidity of the company and improves improves accessibility so but there are companies that never do stock splits like for example berkshire hathaway so warren buffett's class a share so uh berkshire hathaway class a shares have never gone through a stock split so the price of each stock is $316,251 per share Now that's if they do a stock split they can probably do it a number of times but they've never done it for their class a shares they have done it for their class b shares which have been split in the past now what i've not mentioned in the video is something called 
a reverse stock split. So a reverse stock split happens when a company wants to, um, let's say, merge 10 shares into one. Now this is actually done when the company wants to boost its share prices. So for example, um, Tough Built Industries, their share prices are 76 cents. So they had announced a stock, you know, re reverse stock split in like April so that they can increase the uh, price of each share. So they'd be like, if you had 10 shares, they'd give you like one share and say, hey, we're going to increase the value of each share, um, but you're going to get lesser shares. It doesn't change the value of the company, but this is usually done so that it boosts sort of like the image, the public image of the company. For example, imagine if the, uh, you know, uh, tough build industry shares were uh, valued much lower, they'd be like, oh, let's boost our image of the company by, you know, doing a reverse stock split that will increase the each price of stock. So it essentially is, it's sort of negative. So companies that do it, it has a negative um, impact sort of it because it shows that oh the company is not worth that much that's why they're boosting it but it's done so that it actually has a positive impact so it wants to boost its public um, image by saying that oh we are actually worth a bit more per share so it's all just strategy that different companies follow so that they can boost their image as well as their business so I hope this video has been helpful in understanding stock splits and helped makes your investment decision a bit easier so thank you so much for watching guys do comment below which stocks you're planning to buy and hit that like button and subscribe because your penny matters